We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Cincinnati Reds. Now at the plate, Lorenzo Cain. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Sent on the ground out to second. Moustakis is there. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Here's Brock Holt now. His numbers against Trevor Bauer. He's a 375 hitter. Brewer shortstop ahead with a three and one count. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. That is third. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks here with one away. The second base. Two on here with one man out. And into the plate steps Keston Hura. Two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. And another foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Holt at second. Yelich at first. One gone. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And the throw in gets away from him. But luckily, it doesn't get far enough away to allow the runners to advance. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. To the plate now, Omar Narvaez. A ball and two strikes now. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Skied into straightaway right. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Standing in, Avisail Garcia. And Milwaukee with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Fouled off. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Stepping into the box, Jesse Winker. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting the tone pound in the zone. Skied down the left field line. And no one will track it down. There's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. 
down. He finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. At the plate, Joey Votto looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Here's Eric Sogard, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Here's Justin Smoke now, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Next for Milwaukee, Brandon Woodruff. Bases are empty here with two men out. Brandon Woodruff. A bouncer up the middle, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. At the plate, Lorenzo Kane. Now that's popped up. Votto shading to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Eugenio Suarez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even, two and two. Here it comes. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. He's right there. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Digging in, Mike Mustakis. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. One one home. Ball outside. Swing and Mustaka sends a drive to right. This ball's got some carry. Box, Aristides Aquino. Back up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. So two men are on with one man out. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. The 1-1 one, one home. Left side, but well foul. First and second now, one man out. Hit on the ground to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. Standing in now, Trevor Bauer. One and two, the count of the Reds pitcher. Popped him up. Sogard has a play. Two gone. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Oh, 
hit in the air down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. From the stretch, the one two line hard, but foul. The set and the one two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. The payoff pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Fouled away. He's set the 3-2. This is on the ground over to first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Now back, better fielder. So now to the plate, Jesse Winker. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Boy, his pitch count is really spiked here in this hit. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. It's a grand slam. In now, Joey Votto tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And this one misses Devado as he'll reach. It's ball four. So striding in, Eugenio Suarez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 3 2 pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. Yelich going back at the track. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Brett Suter is going to come on in relief now, and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. To the plate now, Mike Mustakis. Hard hit towards center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now batting, number 44. Into the box, Aristides Aquino. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. He pulls into second safely, as also on the play, a run comes the across to score. At the plate, Freddie Galvis. Two and two. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the upper deck and gone. Standing in now, Tucker Barnhart. Base hit into right center. So now to the plate, Trevor Bauer hit on the ground out to short, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. So digging in now, Brock Holt. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. High in the air down the right field line. 
but this will wind up being a foul ball. Again, a one-two. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now back. So coming Wait to the here. plate, Christian Yelich. He drew a base on Yelich. balls his first time up. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. One out, nobody on. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Now batting, the second baseman, Keston. In now, Hira. Keston Hira. In there, now the throw. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. The one-two. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Runners on first and third, two away. Struck him out. You talk about pulling a rabbit out of your hat. He gets out of the jam and the side is retired. Nick Castellanos now. A hit in two tries for him so far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. The center fielder, number 33, Justin. At the plate now, Jesse Winker. And this is on the ground to first, could be two. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And this will wind up working as a sacrifice as he steps on first, allowing the runner to move into second. So one gone now in the Cincinnati third. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Now the payoff pitch home. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Ready for another Perfect. chance. The Eugenio Suarez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And that last half yeah. when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. And, try to... and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in, Eric Sogard. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Oni pops it up. Suarez in foul ground. One away. Striding in once again, base, Justin Smoke. Justin Smoke. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. So now the Brewers pitcher, Brent Suter, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Brent Suter. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One run, four hits. And no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ready once again, Mike Mustakis. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Now the one and one pitch. It is strike two swinging. One ball, it's two not strikes. easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. There's a line drive. Base hit to left field. 
So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Now that number 44. Into the box, Aristides Aquino. No, that meant change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Fouled off. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. You got a full count. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. The batter, three. Ready to take his Good hacks shot. again, Freddie Galvis, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and chopped up the middle. One there. The smoke at first, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another try at 2-2. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2-2. Two and two. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And no one can get there as it falls. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Alex Claudio gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in now, Trevor Bauer. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. At the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. 1-1 one, one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's 1-2. and two. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt. We don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Hit weakly back to the mound. Oh, and that all developed too late to get him at first, and now the bases are loaded here. Now the To the plate now, Jesse Winker. That sinker ball. misses that time, and it's two and one. Claudio benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. However, there have been occasions where he's been hit around a bit. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Kane. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. So one now gone in the Milwaukee fifth, the and that'll bring up the versatile Brock. utility man, Brock Holt. And he'll lay off the cut fastball here as this misses off the plate for ball four. And here's Christian Yelich now. Yelich. 
Good battle. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. Way up into the moon deck and out of here. In now, Keston Hiura. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Again, he sends it out of play. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now back. Coming to the plate now, Omar Narvaez. He went down Narvaez. on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Mustakis is there, and that's the third out. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Popped straight up. Claudio is there for it. One away. Digging in to try it again. Eugenio Suarez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The one two is laid off for ball two. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard ground ball, defense played him perfectly, and just passed his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Standing in now, Mike Mustakis. And this will be fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Grounded back up the middle. Step on the bag for one. The relay on to first. The double play, and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. Jose De Leon takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. So stepping in, Avisail Garcia. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Now the 2 1 pitch is in there for strike number two. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. The 3 2 pitch. Tough pitch nope, to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. The third baseman, number Digging seven. in, Eric Sogard. Eric. No hits to this Sogard. point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos will settle under it to make the play for the first out, as the runner will have to head back to first. So the switch hitter Justin Smoke steps up. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. A 1 1. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. Now the three and two pitch. 
And it's belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder going back. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Ryan Braun will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number eight, Ryan Braun. Still only one out in the inning. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. The one, two. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Stepping into the box, Brock Holt. The 1 1 pitch. Line toward right center. But he will run this one down in right center. A tough L9, and the inning is over. Corbin Burns gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Stepping in, Aristides Aquino. It was a walk in his last trip. Lays off two and two now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. He's working on a one for two game so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Strike two as the fastball is let go. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. The pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The one two. Two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Full count still. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Yelich on the move. A dive and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. In is Christian Yelich. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Oh, that ball comes in and gets him. And that'll bring up Keston Huron. He now struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch on its way. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in now for now the back. Brewers. Omar Narvaez. 0 for 2 oh, from him so far in oh, this one. 1 and 1. Here it is. 2 and 1. Two and one count. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. The 2 2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready now, Avisail Garcia. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. It's time for the traditional seven inning Mark Payton is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Mark Payton. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Hit on the ground out to short. There's one. On to smoke, but it's too late as he'll get just the one. Into the box now, Jesse Winker. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one one home. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So now to the plate, Joey Votto. Outside two and one. To two and two now. As a look, now the pitch. On a rope to the second baseman. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Swing and a miss, strike two. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. On to first, and the Reds' rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. Robert Stevenson is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Now with the plate, Eric Sogard. He flew out in his last at bat. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Justin Smoke will be next. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Payoff pitch one more time. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. The first base number two. Ready to take his hacks again. Justin Smoke as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Again, another foul ball. Ready with the one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. Ben Gamel will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Yeah. 
And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. The center fielder. Digging in, Lorenzo Cain struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Uh, had him off stride that time and it's 1 and 2. In his career, Cain is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Center fielder on the run makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the run is in to score from third. Into the box, Brock Holt. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Runners are at first and second with one away. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Fouled away. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Swing and a liner. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. So two gone now in the Brewers' now half that. of the eighth. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Two down, runners at first and second. Drilled on the ground to short. Galvis, great stop. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Corey Knable enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 46. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Aristides Aquino waits on deck. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. In now, Aristides Aquino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The 3 1. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Number three. Stepping up to the plate, Freddie Galvis. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Two, two pitches fouled away. First and second here with nobody out. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Tucker Barnhart waits on deck. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The next 3-2 is swung on and missed strike three. Now in the box, Tucker Barnhart. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. And this pitch misses to the Reds catcher. Now two and one. On the ground to second base. This could be two to second for one. On to smoke in time for an inning ending double play. Michael Lorenzen will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Kirk Casale is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 12, Kirk Casale. To one and two now. 
You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Hit sharply on the ground. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Now batter, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. The left field. Settling in now, Avisail Garcia. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And now, meanwhile, this is going to be extra bases, and that may just get a couple of runners home. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. The third baseman, number seven. Eric Sogard. At the plate, Eric Sogard lifts it into the air to shallow center. Winker has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. So striding forward now, Justin Smoke. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. 1-1. So Misses ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And he fouls this one off. Second and third here, one man out. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 one more time. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. right side and that's through into right field for a base hit they'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third Pedro Strofe takes the ball now in inning now number back. nine looking to close the door Tyrone Taylor will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning runners are at first and third one away And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Stroke, once a member of the Chicago Cubs organization, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, Matty, there's not too many guys in their mid to late 30s that are going to get more than a one-year deal, but this guy is a veteran presence in this clubhouse and on this roster, and he has been invaluable. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3-2 pitch. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And the runner from third crosses the plate. The center fielder, number two, Lorenzo Kane. To the plate now, Lorenzo Kane. All even now, two and two. On the ground to the right side. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. 
So a big spot here in stepping in Brock Holt. Although there are a couple of bases open and we'll see if they think about working around him. 1-1. So one, one. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now this crowd of just over 21,000 are on their feet. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 12 to 10 is the final score in this one. Cincinnati scored 12 times in round two a win tonight. Trevor Bauer takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Brandon Woodruff, the slap with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.